Okay, so um, if you follow my channel, you saw before where I cut out the holes here to put cup holders in. But we've had this problem where the covering on it has started to chip. And so I looked online different ways to repair it. There's no real repair for it. It's just take the cover off and paint it is what everybody does. And I don't like that look. So I looked online and we found these people. Um, and their product. I went with them because they had the thicker one. Uh, I ordered it, it came with a squeegee. I didn't know it was going to come with it. And what we got was this material here. Which I think is, is a, a nice color to go with it. Um, it came out lighter looking for sure when we got it compared to the sample we got of it was very black. Uh, so I'm happy to see that it was a little lighter. Because um, we we paid for a sample package from them. So they send you this sample package and that dark color there comes out. When we got the sample, it came out showing more of this black in it than it did this brown area. So it came out good. Uh, that color is much lighter than ours when we looked at it. Um, so this is what we went with. So my next step is I got to use a heat gun and take off all the old one. And then I have a few spots that I'll have to sand and then we'll we'll go to the wrapping. Uh, but this is just where we're starting. All right, so with a little bit of help from my uh, handy dandy heat gun, this is the uh, one I got from, pretty sure it was Harbor Freight. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure it was Harbor Freight. Um, I'm too cheap to buy an expensive one. I don't use it enough, but I have found that it comes in real handy for a lot of the work we do. Uh, so I just used a little heat gun and it brought it up. Uh, I, one of the nice things I liked was using the heat gun that gave me understanding how this material was going to work um but also uh just how much heat i could put on it before it started um giving it a problem so yeah uh, it worked good it peeled up right on the corners on its own so if you just put the heat on it it would like curl up on its own and then i just pulled up on it as it went so the next step with that off and out of the way is i got a spot here i need to fill i need to sand and fill and i think that's the only one you can see some of the paint was left on from their paint I'm just going to leave it and go over it. There's no, like, high spots. It's smooth. Um, so, yeah, just going to fix that hole. So. Okay, here's the uh, finished table. It came out pretty good. Um, I found that the heat gun was almost too much heat for stretching the corners when you pull it down around. Um, so we ended up using a hair dryer. That seemed to work better. Um, and then... Uh, once it was folded underneath, we were able to uh, pull it down and around the edges. And then we cut it nice and even. Around the cup holders, I just put some extra around there to give it uh, the little tabs that came in there or something to hold them in place a little more. But that's the finished table now, what we got. And uh, I'm pleased with the outcome. So hope that helps anybody else looking at doing it. And uh, I'll update it as it goes on how it holds up. I have uh, enough material to do it twice, um, just in case I needed one for a learning lesson. And if I come up with more techniques or better techniques, I'll let you all know.